Hi everybody, we're back again with Warrior Cats Generator. Um, we are having to start over again, and I know you guys are probably like, oh my god, again. And I'm like, yeah. Seems that's the fate that we're going at. Um, I am gonna go ahead and get things prepared for this though. So, we're gonna continue. We're gonna try to do better. I will post, um, uh, ooh cruel season hasn't came yet we're gonna have our honey clan and oh, let's see thunderstar I do like slip paw I don't feel like it's enough though maybe there's a lot of red and white this is a better setup too. Anyways, dang it. No females, so. Oh, that's fine. Golden Star, we're gonna change into Bumble Star later on. Uh, he's a bit gloomy. Renowned Hunter. Re Renowned Hunter. Get your lives, and then we're gonna have. Let's see. Dark Prickle? Maybe. He's kind of strange. Blue sky. Are these all boys? There's a female. Frozen, frozen lightning. Female dazzle pelt. I feel like dazzle pelt's going to be our good um, medicine cat. Okay. We're going to have dark prickle as our deputy. I feel like he'll give... Uh, how old are you? You side by side too. Adult. I feel like they would have been really good friends. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit because it's blasting. But Dazzle. Oops, I got the wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Dazzle is gonna be our lovely. Uh... Dazzle Pelt is gonna be our lovely, lovely um, medicine cat. And then we're gonna have our warriors. Let's go ahead and get blue sky. Uh, tulip kit. I want to join uh, fallen paul as well. Brown larch. One dusk is young, nervous, good swimmer. Frozen lightning needs to go. Lore master is model cr modeled crest. Jump, jumble arch. Good fighter, learner of lore, and fast runner. Gloomy, learner of lore, brown larch. Okay. We're definitely gonna bring. Right. Modeled crest? No. We need some more reds. We don't have enough reds. No orange. So I think we're gonna bring. Brown larch. Wait. Why did it not? I must just didn't take them. And then we're gonna have our patchily spec. We're definitely gonna change this name because I cannot say it. Uh, we're gonna go for. I really like the forest. Lake side. That's really pretty too. Ooh, look at that. And fall. Spring, summer. That kind of stays dark the whole time. Classic. Crossland tunnels. Um, it's kind of hard for me to decide. I think we're going to do the cavern. Or maybe the cliff. No. I think it's going to be, it's going to have to be lakeside. It is very pretty. Not going to lie. 
We could do beach, but I really like lakeside. Beach has the ship shipwreck. Which kind of gives a haunting look to it. But I'm going to go with this. Okay. Honey Grove. Okay. Get our cat list. Okay. Uh, let's pause for a second. Okay, everybody. This is us getting back into it. Um, we got our cats named. And I am going to be adding a document. I said it before, but we're actually going to do it this time. We have Golden Star, Dark Prickle, Dazzle Pelt, Blue Sky, Fox Stream, Frozen Lightning, One Dusk, Fallen Paw, Dusk Flare, and Tulip Kit. And I feel like this is a good build of our cat. So let's see. It's playing a prank on Brown Larch, which is no longer Brown Larch. That's a uh, fox. It's considering a unique approach to organizing the patrols. Has been hearing voices of Star Clan cats. We got a wonderful medicine cat. Starting out with already hearing the voices of medicine ca uh, dead cats. Wants to compliment the fighting techniques. Uh, Fox Stream is hoping we'll tell them a new story. Frozen Lightning plans to visit medicine cat. One Dusk is playing a prank on Blue Sky. Fallen Paul is wondering if they'd be a good swimmer. And Dusk Fire seeks their, fills their bones creak as they walk. And Tulip Kit plays Moss Ball by themselves. So there's a lot going on. Real quick, let's show the dead. We, oh my god, our first cat is an apprentice. Like right out the gate. Hello, I'm here to guide the dead cats into Star Clan. How lovely. This is what we get. He was he was alive, very less, like way less than. That makes me sad. Okay. I hope that's not a sign. We're gonna take Golden Star. Did I not change his name? I think I was gonna change his name. Uh, let's pause real quick because I want his name to be. Bumble Star. Okay, sorry. I'm picky how I want things. Uh, because we have Honey Clan, so I want him to be like a Bubble Bee. <laughs> Bumble Star and Fallen Fall. We're gonna go out. And I think they're gonna bring Fox Stream with them first. Let's. Random. Out in the forest, Bumblestar asks Fallen Paw if they know why Honey Clan chooses to live in the woods under the canopy rather than any other environment. Fallen Paw launches into a speech about how Honey Clan is awesome because they aren't kitty pets, only for Bumblestar to stop them. That wasn't the point wasn't the point of the lesson. I accidentally did not bring Fox Stream. So uh let's frozen lightning and then one Dusk, we're gonna send out all together. One Dusk spies a fat rabbit on the other side of the Pigeon Clan border. A tempting opportunity to be sure, but it may not be wise to hunt on a different clan's territory. Let's not proceed. The patrol decides that one rabbit isn't worth making an enemy in. Which was smart. Okay, let's send these guys out. The planting plants have free woken and dazzle pet plans to go and gather some of the leaves with their gathering patrol. Deep green, even, and new leaf, and with a char characteristic smoothness, Dazzlefelt finds the planting where they expected, right in, the right in the middle of the path. The warriors help them pull up the entire plant, roots and all. Only the leaves are useful to Dazzlefelt, but the planting blocking the path here is too annoying anyways. So, we're getting some stuff going on. Let's do this. What?! Are you kidding me? Oh, he's not dead. I thought he... I thought he died instantly. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, right out the gate. Honey Clan has no deputy. Dark Prickle has been looking forward to their moons of rest as an elder. They happily retire, quickly settling into the elder's den. So, we're gonna put, like, on our document... 
first moon. Our deputy retires. Just so we have that run down as like a gentle reminder, cause like Jesus Christ. And one dusk has been seen taking food from two legs. Okay. Okay, so obviously Bumble Bumblestar saw a two-leg kit playing with a kitty pet. Uh, Dezzlepel is giving some advice to Frozen Lightning. Blue Sky can't stand to watch younger cats make fools of themselves. Uh, Foxstream saw a pair of two legs near camp today. Frozen Lightning is giving some advice to Dark Pickle. Or Prickle, I said Pickle, wants to compliment Foxstream's fighting techniques. Fallen Paw is giving some advice to Dazzlepel, and Dust Flare wonders how Dark Prickle is doing. And Dark Prickle saw a two leg kit playing with a kitty pet. And Tulip Kid is asking older cats where kits are from. Um, I'm gonna vote for. We're gonna make him. Or. Oh! Trans female! I didn't even realize that. Okay, so. Fox Stream. It's gonna be our deputy. I didn't even know it's trans female. My bad. I was given the wrong gender. I apologize. We're gonna send these three out because one Bumble Star needs he's decided that yeah he needs to take his apprentice out again because obviously Fallen Paul is not learning and who better than to bring our new deputy along with us, so the patrol wants to hold a training session for Fallen Paul. They decide to focus on a tree on tree climbing. By the end of the patrol, Fallen Paul is leaping from branch to branch as nimble as a squirrel. Good, 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 good. Uh, One Dusk and Frozen Lightning are going to go out. One Dusk about to wrap it up ahead, but it seems like it's acting strange. The patrol can see its tremors from, from a fox length away. Do not proceed. One Dusk avoids catching the rabbit and looking for other prey. And then the other two. As the medicine cat patrols pad, as the medicine cats patrol pad on into the honey clan territory, Blue Sky tells Dazzle Pill about the dream they had last night and what the Star Clan vision could mean for Honey Clan. They have an in-depth conversation about Blue Sky's vision as they walk. By the time they head back to camp, they have a good idea of what they should do with the information. So we possibly might be getting a um, already. A, we're gonna write that down a possible possible um, prophecy coming coming blue sky mentioned it to dazzle pelt and I promise I'm gonna be like fixing things all the time and this this time where's my mouse sometimes I lose my mouse and it's like crazy the happy fun You ever just randomly lose your mouse? There it is. Yeah, me too. Probably not me. Sorry about that. Sorry about that difficulty. That wasn't my intention. We were trying to write and it just happened. So that sucks. Um, okay, so what else am I gonna have to do? What's cat list? I think we already went through it. Yeah, we did. Okay. Okay, let's go to our next moon. Nothing interesting happened. Uh, Blum Blum Bumble Star has snuggled up against Dark Prickle. Bumble Star swaps favorite prey with one dusk. Fallen Paw asks Bumble Star how they're doing. 
A blue sky thinks about how Dazzle Pell is always reliable. What's, uh, I think there is a way to check our clearing. Up to 16, fresh paw is overflowing with food, which is great. We want to keep it that way. Um, cat list. It's fine, the responsibility of leadership to be quite the heavy burden. It's playing a prank on Dust Flare. Wants to know, get to know Dark Prickle better. Blue Sky tries to set a good example for younger cats. Frozen Lightning wonders how Blue Sky is doing. One Dusk is eating from some fresh kill. Fallen Paul wants to know Bumble Start better. And Dust Fire is snoring in their sleep. Dark Prickle is snoring in their sleep. Tulk Kit is pestering older cats to play with them. Let's check our dad. You got anything? No. Okay. So we're gonna send out Fallen Paul, Bumble Start, and let's use Blue Sky this time. We're just trying to swap them up. Your patrol comes across a bird that occupies scratching that's occupied scratching at the ground for instinct. Insects. Your patrol narrowly misses the bird. Very small amount of prey is brought back to camp. Boo. Okay, one dusk and fox stream. I want you to to go out. The patrol tracks scent of a large dog wandering along the edge of the clan's territory. Okay. So here's the thing. I don't have a set thing set yet. And I guess I could pull this up on it to show you guys that I just typed in dice roller. And here's the scary part. We're going to dice roller. No, I want that. I want that. one's prettier. Okay, we're going to do a D... Six. If it's if it's even, we continue. If it's odd, we don't. <sighs> okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Cause that's not what I wanted. Okay, I guess we're continuing. The patrol shadows the dog, sending a message back to the war in the camp. It's an exhausting and stressful day, but by the time night falls, they've confirmed that the dog is leaving the local area. And the patrol has assured Honey Clan's safety. Well, that's good. I'm proud of them. Because that was scary. Because that can end bad. Dezel Pelt has, attend, has to attend the one of their gr grimer, grimmer jobs as Medicine Cat. The grounds where Honey Clan goes to mourn their dead need to be tended to. They're bringing along frozen lightning as there is assistant for this trip and the two cats had out to out in a relative silence even though nothing different about this place other than serenity it was chosen for dazzle pelt always feels that the grief the grief and love their clan mates express here have seeped into every corner they tidy the grounds collecting rosemary as they work it feels appropriate for the plant to grow here when its herbs are used to hide the sin of death Ooh. okay we're going to go up to three moons. Nothing interesting's happened. Bumblestar finds a bit of fluff that smells like tulip kit and adds it to their nest. Oh, that's kind of cute. Um, Bumblestar clears up a misunderstanding with Fallen Paul. Fallen Paul offers to groom a hard to reach spot on one dust. He thanks him earnestly. Blue Sky bickered about something trivial with dark prickle. Uh, dust sky, or blue sky growls at Tulip Kit to get out from under the, their paws. Frozen Lightning feels ignored by Bumble Star. Frozen Lightning thinks the prey Tulip Kit is butting into the other side of the camp. Looks delicious. Dazzle Pelt thinks fa Fallen Paw is very helpful. Uh, there's a lot going on. We'll check this too. Wonders how Dazzle Pelt is doing. Is feeling silly. Is eavesdropping on Dust Flare. Saw a yappy little dog today. Has recently given a wonderful speech to a fellow clan mate, boosting morale. Just wondering if kitty pet life is really so bad. Fallen Paul daydreams about being a warrior in the flying clan. Dust Flare is assisting with clan camp cleanup. And Dark Prickle got lost outside the camp for a bit today, so that's not good. Tilt Kid is frightened after hearing the scary story. Okay. Well. 
We're going to take Fallen Paul, Bumble Star, and who? Lightning. Frozen Lightning felt ignored, so let's go on this patrol. Trailing behind the patrol, there's a mighty crash above Frozen Lightning. They look around wildly, just as the, as the world is blotted out by a tangle of heavy fallen branches. Okay. I feel like this is another thing that I have to roll on. Just to make things interesting. Because it's like, well... This is going to be like the game. Do I roll? Do I continue? We're going to keep the same rolls. Um, now this might end up bad or good. So we're going to do even. We do it. Odd we don't. And apparently we're not going to proceed. Interesting. So... Before we did, do not proceed. Thankfully, they're on the edge of the obstruction and wriggle their way clear. Well, that could have been bad, so I'm glad it went well. Okay. We're gonna send Foxstream and Dazzle Pelt out for a little bit, because they haven't been. It's one of the worst storms of the season and left Dazzle Pelt in an unavoidably grumpy mood. They're strewn about, praying and hiding. It would take forever to find anything. Foxstream attempts to find a way to cheer up the healer. Foxstream splashes water from a puddle at Dazzlepelt. Dazzlepelt turns around and hisses at Foxstream that they don't have time for kit games. The two continue their patrol, but Dazzlepelt's sour mood distracts them from any useful herbs they could find. Darn. It's funny that Foxstream did do that, though, considering Stream. Okay. One dust suggests this might be a good chance to practice teamwork with Blue Sky. Everything seems to be going well. Then Blue Sky trips over their paws and introduces their muzzle to the ground at speed. Maybe they all need to go back to the basics. Ooh, Blue Sky. Okay. Next event. Blue Sky is feeling much better. The bruises are gone. Tulip Paw has been pestering everyone for moons on when they finally get to be a apprentice. And everyone was relieved that they're finally free of the young cats nagging. Until they start asking about when they're going to be a warrior as soon as the meeting ends. Oh boy. Tulip. Who's your mentor? Blue Sky? Cool. You're very competitive. Quick to make peace. Okay. Blue Bumble Star is eavesdropping on Foxstream. Foxstream had a nightmare involving the rushing river nearby. Dazzlepelt has been hearing the voices of Star Clan cats again. Blue Sky is playing a prank on Dark Prickle. Frozen Lightning is basking in the sun. One Dust tries to breathe deeply to no avail. Paul and Paul knows they'll get picked first for today's patrol. Tulip Paul is busy mastering a fighting technique. And Dust Flyer wonders how Bumble Star is doing. And Dark Prickle feels their bones creak as they walk. That's not good. And nothing is happening in Star Clan, so I'm not really too worried about it. We're going to send... Bumble Star out with Fallen Paw though, because we have a new apprentice, and I feel like this is the perfect time for those two to work together. So, your patrol finds a loner who's interested in joining the clan. They banter with the cat a bit, making them feel more welcome. The patrol doesn't do much convincing, the loner seems happy to join the clan. Ketchup joined the clan. Your clan's reputation, reputation toward outsiders have improved. I should have probably rolled. I didn't think about it. I was just too excited about a cat. Um, but we did it. So we now have Ketchup. He's a young female. Very cute. What moon is that? I'm going to write that down. That on our fourth moon. Ketchup joins us. Which is really cool. The music's really creepy right now. <laughs> it's like, ooh, mysterious. Okay. Tulip Kit became an apprentice too on the fourth moon. Okay. We're gonna send out Ketchup and Fox Stream to go out. Your troll trucks stand of a large dock wondering how long the edge of the clan's territory. Oh my god, we're doing this again. This is a good idea. I really don't want to do this. I really 
don't want to do this. I just got ketchup. Is this going to be payback? Because I didn't roll for ketchup. And with my favorite character. Fox stream is like my favorite right now. Okay. Please. Dang it. Okay. Yay. We got to continue. We're not going to... This, mu this music is very fitting for this right now, for me. Proceed. If Char gathers the courage and valiantly tries to lead away the dog, with such a small group of cats, they can only lead it a short distance. But it's better than nothing. I'm proud of you two, actually. Add. One dust. To dazzle Pelt's concern, their warrior escort is unusually quiet. When prompted on their troubles, one dust comments that they could not help but think of what legacy they could leave behind if Starkline called upon them. Dazzle Pelt and one dust spend their time on the patrol discussing how to Starkline. The end of their life did not mean it was the true end. Even in Starkline, cats had their role to play. One dust's legacy would shine brighter than any star. Comforted by these words, one dust thanks Dazzle Pelt and helps bring back herbs. Okay, and then we're going to send out Frozen Lightning. Frozen Lightning finds a nice spot to sun themselves. Cool. Okay. We're coming up. One more event, maybe. Fallen Paul has gotten a heart has gone a heat stroke. What are my settings, by the way? All oh, medicine cats be run. All oh, cats complete copy of. All oh, ears choose a new deputy. Um. Disable experience based apprentice graduations. All oh, warriors come. Mediators. They can have that. I want to cut spread of cuts on my mate. Pregnancy. Cool. Should I have. Okay, before I do this, should I allow mass extinction? So, we'll see. Fallen Paul can't go. So, I feel like Tulip Paw and Blue Sky are still gonna go with their leader. Just to go on a patrol. As patrol gathers together to train under Bumble Star's leadership, Tulip Paw admits they think they had a vision from Star Clan last night. The patrol talks to them about it, whether it was a real vision as they train. Three. Le green Leaf is surely the best time of the year to be a medicine cat, and when the world so full of flowers and green growth, Dizzle Pelt heads out to gather fresh goldenrod. The stores with the patrol of their climates to assist them. The bushes have responded to the sun's call with great enthusiasm exploding outward in a chaotic growth. Dazzle Pelt finds it heartening seeing the goldenrod fight its own territorial battles against the plants next to it, busting with health. The plants won't miss what they take, not even with so many here to carry off the material for honey kind storage. And then we're gonna add Fox Stream and Catch up, who have apparently became buddies. Buckstream wanders past an old badger set and the roots of the only to freeze. There's a new set there. We're not doing this right now. <laughs> we're too close to the end. I think we're gonna do one moon. One more moon. Oh my god. Okay, there's so much stuff going on. Okay. Bumblestar disappears for a few days, then returns to camp with a yellow bow collar around their neck. So hanging around kitties. Fallen Paul has recovered from heat stroke. Fallen Paul soaks up all the attention as they stand before the clan, eager for their name. Bumble Star gives them the name Fallen Fleck after their strong will. Ketchup finds forget me not flowers while on a walk and decides to keep them. Okay. Bumble Star, what have you done? Feeling confident? This is a signing cat. So, Hunting Patrol is interpreting a prophecy. Wonders how Dust Flare is doing. Is grooming their already silky soft coat. Almost got lost near some two legs nest. Probably following Bumble Star, to be honest, Ketchup. Is in awe of Bumble Star's leadership, probably because he's got a bow. Almost got lost near some two legs. Bumble, did you just take everyone out on a patrol? 
towards the like kitty pet house and he's just like you know what guys look at this we could all be kitty pets who cares if it's <laughs> against the warrior code uh there goes my alarm but we're gonna do this final night it's giving some advice frozen lightning it's snoring loudly in their sleep it's snoring loudly in their sleep okay we're gonna we're gonna go three Move you. And take you. So it's gonna be. Fox. Up shop, Those three are kind of going. Your patrol comes across a bird that's occupied, scratching at the ground for insects. They missed it again. Okay. Three. No as Tansy Plant fights on through leaf fall, defend as much life as possible before leaf bear, Dazzle Talk goes out to harvest them with gathering control. Ah, they didn't get any. Okay, three. Eyes glowing with the last rays of sunset, the small hunting party heads out into the gathering dusk. Bumblestar knows exactly how to take advantage of the growing gloom. Giving the rest of the patrol a couple of ideas that tip the balance from a successful patrol to an astonishing, outstanding one. Like a good leader should. Okay, we're gonna end it here. Let's see what happens on Seven Moons. Nothing interesting, so it wasn't even a cliffhanger. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!